Hello from Shalom Acres. We got a heck of a project today as a result of some beetles. So you can see we've got this beautiful tree line right along our driveway. It's really nice. It shades our driveway and you know you can see the sun in the back. And what you can tell right here, I don't know if you can tell it or not, but this tree right here has been infested by some kind of beetle. And it's it's killed the tree. There's very little bit of green left on it. What we've researched is if we don't kill it, or take it out, there's a chance we're gonna end up losing the rest of it. You can see there's all these little holes in here in the tree that then have had sap coming out and up higher in the tree there's a real big spot that's probably a foot by two so that's probably where they definitely are taking the hardest hit on the tree. We've got a couple other trees that I'm going to trim a few parts out but we're hoping to save the rest of our hoping to save the rest of them. Yeah here's the really big you know like I said it's you know a foot by two it's kind of on the base of the tree so before anything would happen like I said because this is close to our close to our driveway this tree's plenty tall enough for it to actually hit our house. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up it and uh, take out the branches and then I'll start taking it off by logs as I'm coming down. But what I'm going to do is as I go up, I'm going to take all these branches off on this side and allow them just to fall because it's able to free fall. When I come down on this side, I'm actually going to start at the top. I'm going to start at the top and let those branches fall on top of themselves so that way they'll have a cushioned fall because at the bottom down here, we've got our fence. I'm going to use that to uh, to cushion the fall on the way down. So like I said, on this side, on the way up, I'm going to go ahead and cut them as I go up. And then on the way down, I'm going to take them on the way down there. And all I'm really trying to accomplish this evening before sunset is just getting the most of the branches off. And then I'll just leave some nubs so then that way I can climb back up it real easy uh, tomorrow and take out the logs. Because what we're going to do then with this tree right away is I don't believe there's any beetles in the limbs, so I'm going to get all the limbs off tonight and then that way I can get a good base for a nice brush pile and then uh, and then we'll start burning it so then that way we can get all this wood out of here. It's a shame, shame I said, you know, like I said, beautiful trees, they crowd our whole uh, tree line, uh, but we need to take it out before we have any other problems. You can hear the roosters and stuff in the background. I have a feeling they're going to go crazy while I'm while I'm cutting this down, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, we'll uh, take a little bit of a video of what we're doing as far as cutting it down, and then we'll uh, let you see a few of our chickens real quick. Well, they're going crazy. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay with us. we we'll do everything we can to make sure we're safe on this one. And I'm just using my lightweight 14 inch steel chainsaw. It uh, comes normally with a 16 inch, 16 inch bar, but I purposely put a 14 inch on it. This is one that I did a video on, the MS-170, as far as running poorly. Ever since we did that work, which I thank some of you for telling me that it was a spark arrester. It's uh, definitely running great now, and we haven't had a problem with it since we took it out. So. I'm not telling you what to do to your saw. I just know what we did to ours, and I've had no problems with it since. So, thanks for watching. Shalom.
can see, uh, we had a good plan. Uh, the plan seemed successful. Uh, I think we're just going to fast forward through most of it, but it only took us 20 minutes to take out everything on the tree, all the limbs on the tree. And as a family, we worked together, did a great job. We're hauling out our fourth load right now. And you can see behind me, there's really nothing left. So uh, really did a great job as a family. I feel that we did, uh, did everything we could from a safety perspective. And just before any of you would say anything as far as, you know, are you crazy, this, that, and the other, um, I'll be honest. Um, I've known someone for many years who works um, cutting trees down. So I spent a lot of time with him when I was younger. And during a certain circumstance like this, you know, I could have put spikes on and as I was cutting the limbs out, done it that way. But I knew the tree wasn't that old. Um, fairly skilled at climbing a tree. And there was lots of limbs that I knew I was gonna be able to place hands on. So I felt actually more comfortable in this particular situation, especially how I wanted to protect the fence. Instead of limiting it on the way up and then using the spikes, I felt more comfortable climbing it, taking all the, taking it all down that way um, on the one side and then taking it down so that way it let, let down really nice on the fence. We did split one board on the fence, uh, but other than that, one board on the fence, I think it's pretty minimal compared to where we got to. Um, like I said, especially in 20 minutes. So definitely proud of the family, how everybody worked together. Hopefully your family works together this well and just allows you to accomplish those projects that you have on your homestead. So tonight we're gonna go ahead and call it a wrap. Uh, after we take this last load out, we'll probably get this up so you can see it. Uh, but we definitely, like I said, uh, just appreciate all the hard work that we have that we have as a family and just really appreciate you all watching. Please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you got any social media, other ideas that you can share this with other people, we'd appreciate it. And ask them to subscribe also. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Shalom.